that is S two O three two minus. The first, you know, observation here, experiment and observation, we have that mixture, and we add dilute H two S O four here. What we get? We get a colorless gas. I'm just writing down the keyword here, right? You can also write down the same thing. Colorless gas. The whole sentence is not required. Colorless gas we get, which has the suffocating order. Suffocating order. What is this gas? Could you tell me? We have done this now. S O two. S O two. Right. Suffocating order. That is S O two evolved. S O two evolved. and it turns the solution yellow right on yellow also turns solution also turns yellow that is what so2 so this confirms the presence of s2o3 2 minus in the mixture and then the same thing we have here if you this so2 in this mixture Because we have S two S O two, we have we have S two S O four. So if you add add K two C R two O seven in this solution, then what happens? K two C R two solution you add, then what happens? C R two S O four. Yes. So the solution turns into green. Color changes. C R two S O four whole size. So second reaction is exactly same. If you add K two C R two O seven, okay. Now third one you see, which here we have the second one. is sodium carbonate extract we add sc and agno3 solution right so it converts into white ppt white precipitate changes to quickly changes to yellow brown and finally it converts into ag to s that's black okay this confirms the presence of s2o3 to me copy this down copy it one more we have uh, here test and that is also the second and third one is more important here that i have written here second and third one the third one is what we have sce sodium carbonate extract and in this we add few drops of iodine right so the what observation we have the color of iodine or i write on i2 decolorize here I to decolorize, which confirms the presence of S two O three two minus. So reactions we will see. The first reaction we have thiosulfate N A two S two O three plus we have H two S O four. 
we heat this and we get sulfate Na2SO4 plus we'll get SO2 suffocating order. We'll get H2O and sulfur also forms in this. Okay. AgNO3, if you add, suppose the ionic equation, if I write down S2O3, 2 minus, it takes Ag plus, so I'll written here 2 Ag plus, it forms Ag2, S2O3 precipitate, and this is of white precipitate. So first this forms, right? Based on dissolving in water, it slowly converts into yellow and then it finally converts into Ag2S, which is black. So reaction is Ag2S plus H2SO4. With I2, it converts into 2I minus plus SO4, O6, 2 minus, tetrathionate ion. This, if you remember, we use this also in idometric titration, this kind of reaction. So there is B block. Yes. Even in uh, ionic also, we have the titration. No, there also we have here. Ionic we have, we have redox. There also we have. Mainly dogs we have this. Done. Okay. Now the last one in this you write down acetate ion. Acetate ion. We have the mixture and in this mixture, we added a few drops of H2SO4 and we heat this. The reaction is, we got the smell of vinegar only. Smell of vinegar that confirms acetate ion. No gases evolve, only the smell of vinegar we have. Water extract you take, WE, and we add FeCl3 solution, which is neutral. FeCl3 solution in this, and it converts into blood red color. blood red color, which also confirms the presence of acetate ion.
reaction is we have CS3COO Na sodium acetate and we add H2SO4. So it forms obviously Na2SO4 and CS3COOH. So Na2SO4 forms and CS3COOH forms. And because of this only, we have vinegar smell over here. With FeCl3, it forms blood red color. If you look at the ionic reaction, it is CS3 COO minus plus FeCl3 means Fe3 plus FeCl3 means Fe3 plus. So it forms Fe CH3 COO. What I've written, wait. Fe, then we have CH3 COO. This complex is blood red color. Copy it. Okay. Now, first category we have done. Now we'll see anions belongs to group two. You know, we have all the halide ions, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, all kind of halides we have over here. And along with halide, we have nitrate ion as well. Okay, oxalate and nitrate as well. Okay, all these five, six ions we need to understand, we need to discuss here, right? So in this, what happens, uh, what is the reagent we use? We use concentrated, concentrated. Yeah. correct? Okay. So first we'll see chloride ion here. Chloride ion, Cl minus. So can I write down this in um, in smaller way, shorter way, if I, Achha, okay. I'm just trying to write down this in a, uh, you know, in a map. We have the mixture, correct? All the test I'll write down here, whatever mixture we have, which you need to analyze. This is the mixture, right? And in this mixture, what we do, one of the way is, we add concentrated H2SO4. Concentrated H2SO4. So the product we get here is colorless pungent smell. Colorless gas, pungent smell. All these are for the detection of chloride ion. So I'm not writing down after this, okay, it confirms the presence of chloride ion. No. This is the result we have which confirms the presence of chloride and that is understood okay next is we take a glass rod and we dip into nh4oh so in short i'll write down glass rod dipped in dipped in NH4OH 
NH4OH and we'll keep this near the mouth of the test tube. So if this rod, which is dipped in NH4OH comes closer to this test tube, right? Then it forms white dense fumes here. It forms white dense fumes. Okay. In the test tube, if you add MnO2, manganese dioxide pyrolusite mineral, okay, name is important, manganese dioxide pyrolusite mineral, we get play, uh, pale green gas that is nothing but Cl2, pale green gas we get. Okay, this is actually, this reaction is the second part of it. Just for the confirmation, from here only, we get it. Right, so if you add it over here, then after this, the Cl2 evolves, so MnO2, we can say we add into this one. Okay, I'll write down the reaction for this one. Basically, this takes place in two steps. First, we get this, and then on reaction, we'll get Cl2. Okay, now the another one is the reaction with SCE, sodium carbonate extract. sodium carbonate extract, we heat this with dilute HNO3, HNO3 and, and AgNO3 solution. All these we are adding here. It forms white precipitate, white PPT, soluble in NH4OH in NH4OH right and in this mixture if you again add HNO3 the white precipitate reappears okay it got soluble vanish again you add HNO3 white precipitate reappears one more we have in this which we'll discuss separately. I'll write down this name over here, which we call it as chromide chloride, chromyl chloride test. Chromyl chloride test. So all these tests of chloride ion we have Copy it on this, then we'll see the reaction. Okay, look at the reaction now. The reaction is KCl with H2SO4, Cl minus with H2SO4. So if Cl minus is present, it forms KHSO4 plus HCl.
So HCl gas evolves here, which gives pungent smell. So this confirms the presence of chloride ion, Cl minus in the mixture. The second one we have, In this HCl gas we have, when it comes in contact with NH4OH, NH4OH, further steps, when is, this is done with NH4OH, so NH4OH plus HCl, it converts into NH4Cl and H2, this is what it forms. So white fumes of ammonium chloride we get. White fumes of ammonium chloride we get. Okay. And then in this, if you add HCl, okay, we are getting here, here, here HCl, this HCl is left. And if you add MnO2, not HCl, MnO2, if you add and heat, then it converts into MnCl2 plus Cl2 plus H2. Chlorine evolves in this. So magnesium dioxide oxidizes Cl minus from this into Cl2. This is a pale green gas. Copied. Okay. The next is if you add AgNO3 in this. It's AG, AGCL white precipitate. White precipitate plus KNO3. KNO3 it forms. So on addition of AGNO3 to the solution, chloride salt solution, a white precipitate of, precipitate of AGCL formed AgCl is soluble in NH4OH, okay? So AgCl, you see, further in this, if you add NH4OH, it is soluble in NH4OH, and it converts into Ag NH3 whole twice, and Cl. Water evolves, forms a complex here. Complex salt it is, soluble. Now this complex salt, on addition of HNO3, decomposes. AgNH3, whole twice Cl, on addition of HNO3, decomposes and forms AgCl white precipitate and NH4NO3. Okay, this is the reaction we have here.
Clear? Okay. Now you see this one, chromide chloride test. This is only for chlorine, not for bromine or iodine. Chromide chloride test. Okay, chromide chloride test. Write down on addition of, I'll also write down it. On addition of concentrated H2SO4 and K2Cr2O7, two chloride salt, two chloride salt, deep orange, deep orange, red vapors, of chromyl chloride of chromyl chloride that is CrO2Cl2 forms chromyl chloride is this only CrO2Cl2 Achha. The reaction is, you see, KCl with H2SO4 converts into KHSO4 plus HCl. This we get in the first step. K2Cr2O7 also we are adding plus H2SO4 converts into 2KHSO4 plus 2CrO3 and H2O. Now this HCl that we have, HCl, reacts with CrO3, converts into CrO2Cl2 and H2O. This is chromyl chloride. One more point you add in this. The color of NaOH solution changes to yellow. The color of NaOH solution is changes to yellow. When chromide chloride vapor, when chromyl chloride vapor vapors is passes through, is passes through it. So here the reaction is 
we have CrO2Cl2 chromyl chloride is uh, you know allowed to pass through NaOH vapors. NaOH it converts into Na2CrO4 plus 2NaCl plus H2O. This is yellow in color. Done? Yes. Okay, next slide down. Test of bromide. What is the experiment? Again, we have mixture. I shall write down that only, wait. So we have the mixture, the sample we have. And in this, if you add H2SO4, dilute, red is brown, red is brown, pungent gas, Br2 evolves. Another one. In this solution, I'll write down here only. In this solution, if you add MnO2, the solution becomes denser. The solution becomes denser if you add MnO2. I'm sorry, MnO2 here. Yeah. The solution becomes denser. If you have sodium extract, if you add, you add Se sodium extract with dilute HNO3 with AgNO3 solution, NO3 solution. So it, it forms light yellow precipitate light yellow precipitate forms which is soluble in, in NH3 ammonia. One more test we have in this, which we call it as layer test. I'll write down here.
in layer test what happens we have a uh, sodium extract we add either we can add ccl4 or we can add a uh, chloroform that is cscl3 any one we can add in between the two with chlorine gas with chlorine gas right then in this reaction the organic solvent or i'll write down this page the organic solvent layer solvent layer turns brown all these experiments we have by which bromide ion tested i'll write down the reaction first you copy down this So are we going to take up some questions on this? Uh, we'll do that. Let me just take up one or two more, and then. Acha, we'll take up one question after this, and then we'll do some more ions. Okay. Then. Okay. So we have this test, right? Now, reactions which is involved in this, you see. Mm. We have KBr, the bromide ion, with H two SO four. the reaction it gives similar kind of reaction we have like we had for uh, chloride ion khso4 plus hbr and then in this hbr hbr which forms further reacts with h2so4 and converts into bromine br2 h2o evolves and sulfur dioxide we get okay this is red is brown gas red is brown acha now in this if i add mno2 magnesium dioxide if you add here with hbr it converts into br2 with h2o and we also get mnbr2 next slide down addition of aglo3 solution addition of aglo3 solution to the acidified sodium carbonate extract 
to the acidified sodium carbonate extract results in the formation of light yellow precipitate of agbr results in the formation of light yellow precipitate of agbr which is which is sparingly soluble in NH4OH. Which is sparingly soluble in NH4OH. Achha. Now you see this reaction here. Uh, what I said, addition of AgNO3 solution to acidified sodium carbonate. Okay, acidified sodium carbonate Okay, so basically what happens when we add AgNO3, so it forms AgBr because we have the bromide ion with AgNO3, it forms the precipitate of AgBr plus NaNO3. AgBr, NaNO3, this AgBr is soluble in ammonium hydroxide NH4OH. It forms AgNH three whole twice Br and H2. Complex it forms. Done. Achha, layer test is very simple. Write down. Last one in this. The fourth one that I have given you. Layer test. Very simple. See, it's based on the fact that bromine is more soluble in organic solvent in comparison to chlorine, right? So you see in that you know uh, reaction I have given, sodium extract with CCl4 or CHCl3. Yeah, Rahul will get a break, we'll have a question, we'll discuss a question and then we'll take a break, okay, after this, just 10 more minutes, I guess, okay? So bromine is liberated from uh, bromine salts, why? Because the Reagent we are adding in layer test is what? We are adding organic solvents like CCL4 and CHCl3, if you see, correct, plus Cl2. So bromine and chlorine, if you compare the solubility of bromine in organic solvent, it is more, and hence, and hence it gives an orange color to the organic solution that we have, which we also call it as organic layer, 
and which the lower part is uh, you know orange color and the upper part is you know that aqueous layer remains colorless so you will have you can easily detect the two different layer over here the lower part is orange and the upper part is colorless like we we have pure like we have clean water like that okay so that orange color that forms that only confirms the presence of bromide ion just two line you write down to this bromine since it is more soluble in organic solvent than chlorine bromine since it is more soluble in organic solvent hence it evolves from the bromine salt hence it evolves from the bromine salt on addition of on addition of an oxidizing agent on addition of an oxidizing agent what all oxidizing agent we have we have cl2 water chlorine in presence of water we can have a drop of kmno4 so you're not sharing a screen yeah 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 i know i am just just taking one question for this you can i'm dictating you can write it down okay so i said what all oxidizing agent we have chlorine water drop of kmno4 and concentrated hno3 also we can use okay so all these oxidizing agent we can use for this okay so what happens here in presence of oxidizing agent bromine evolves and it turns the lower part of the solution or you write down like this it turns the lower solution orange and it turns the rolls lower solution orange which confirms the presence of which confirms the presence of bromide okay so layer test is this is basically depends upon the solubility of halide ions in organic solvent we will choose those organic solvents in which in which the solubility of bromine since we are detecting bromine solubility of bromine is more basically okay now we'll see one question before the break oh, just a second so we'll remove this i will share my screen now yeah mm next stop this one yeah the first one you see a look at the question first a dissolve in dilute h2so4 brown colored vapor you know forms which turns start solution potassium iodide start solution blue same a we dissolve in naoh then ns3 gas evolves a converts into a gas b n into a gas c but liquid at room temperature so gas c is what c is a liquid at room temperature you see all these questions you see a the first question you have it's basically if you do not know the property 
then you cannot do it. Tell me, what is the value? Which one is A, B, and C? You need to identify A, B, and C. Yes, nitrite ion, correct. So A is nitrite ion, that's right. So we can say A is uh, no NH4, NO2, because ammonia gas is also evolving. Now. B, you see, ammonia gas is evolving. So we can have NaNO2 and NH3. Yeah. What is B there? And C is also a gas, but liquid at room temperature. You see, A, you are saying nitride ion. What should be the compound? Because when you heat A, it converts into a gas, uh, you know, which is liquid at room temperature. Room temperature. So what are liquids we have at room temperature? Tell me, what are liquids we have at room temperature? Sir, is it going to be NO and NO2? What is that, NO and NO2? Achha, gas B and C, you are saying? Yes. No, NO2 or NO is not, see, NO2 is not a liquid at room temperature. No, it is a gas. And A is what? A, what you said? A, you said nitrite ion. So what should yes. be the nitrite compound you must have? When you heat that, you will get two gases. One is, uh, one is a liquid and one is gas at room temperature. So what are liquids we have at room temperature? This way, if you go, it will be easier for you to understand. What are liquids we'll have at room temperature? H2O is a liquid at room temperature, right? Any other yes. liquid at room temperature? So bromine. Bromine is also liquid, but bromine is, uh, you know, it's, um, it's standard state is liquid only. Is it HNO2? NH4NO2? HNO2, you are saying? A is NH4NO2 and then B is NH3C HNO2. Ah, right, right. See, bromine, yes, bromine you can think of, but why bromine is not possible here? Because we, 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 we won't have bromine anywhere, right? Where is bromine? There's no chance of bromine over there. Once you are confirmed, it is nitride ion. So it is a reaction of all these nitride ion, right? Nitride compound. So if A is NH4NO2, obviously you, you need to do some practice, then only you can you know, guess like this. If A is NH4NO2, then it is possible that you heat this, it converts into NH3 and it converts into H2 also. And we know H2O is a liquid at room temperature. So answer for this question is A is NH4NO2, A is NH4NO2, B is uh, NH3, and C is H2O. Try this B. So it's that k 2 c 2 is a green color. Right. So what we'll do? How do we you know detect? So only the property, you, property you know. 
how do we use this property to detect? To detect? So if we pass SO2, it will give green color. SO2 with what? K2Cr2O7. Ah, right. It will form chromium sulfate and that will be a green. And that green solution is not given by CO2, right? Yes. SO2 will give green uh, solution, but CO2 won't give. So what we'll do, we'll take this mixture and we'll allow K2Cr2O7 to pass through this mixture. If it turns green, then we'll have SO2 present into this, right? And when it passes through lying water, it turns milky, which confirms CO2. Okay. So all these are, you see, all these are property-based questions you will get, okay? You must have the information and only you can do it. And it's not like you, if you do not know, uh, you know, from the beginning to end, you won't be able to do it. Somewhere in between also, if you can catch what is the compound, then you can, you know, correlate that, okay, this is the possibility, this is not the possibility. Maybe this kind of questions is a bit difficult when it comes to, uh, you know, in J advance that to, um, you know, where options are not given. In that case, you have to, you know, take a call, whether it is this or this. But when options are there, like suppose in this question only A that we have, they are, they'll ask you what is, you know, C or what is B and they will give some options or what is A, they will give some options, correct? So in that case, you know, you can have the idea that, okay, this option is possible or not, this option is possible or not. And then, you know, you can think about it. But yes, if you know the property, you can figure it out. What is the question all about? Just you need to, you know, understand the chain, how the reaction is going on. Any one particular reaction, if you understand properly, then you can think of the product or reactant. Acha, what is the last one? A, uh, C, A, M, A, 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 Na2 SO3. Na2 SO3? So SO3, uh, you can tell from the green color. And then I the green mass is equal, like equal to the S7H2 mass. So I just took it there. Achha, okay. Uh, achha, it's given K2Cr2 or 7 with H plus, it gives green color. Achha, okay. So identify A and explain the reaction. So it has water of this monovalent alkaline cation alkaline cation is also given so we can think of either na or li mostly right monovalent so it will be group one correct alkaline cation so we can have na plus and and one more thing if it is mentioned that monovalent then you can think of group one correct group two is gone group one you have in group one also it is mostly it is true that either you will have na plus or li plus these two cations only possible. In general, I'm not saying any logic over here. In general, you can think of. Mostly we'll have the salt of these two elements, uh, cations only. So X is an divalent anion. Achha, divalent anion. So either we can have sulfate or we can have. What all divalent anion, anions we have? Sulfite, sulfate, all these things we can think of. H2SO4, a gas turns this solution green. Identify A and explain this. Ha, huh, fine, it's correct only. So we have Na2SO3 because we know the reaction of sulfide with H2SO4 and then with K2Cr2O7, it turns green solution. So I would say what? From the last two line, you will have the idea from this reaction, from this line, you will have the idea that the anion is the sulfide ion. We have SO3 minus. Okay, and the first information that is given, you can think of uh, either Na plus and Li plus there. So it is Na2SO3 dot 7H2O is the compound we have. Clear, understood? So they are given one is to one weight also. So. Uh, where is that? So Achha, ratio one weight. Is to I, one missed, weight. Yeah, I missed it, correct, yeah. So ratio and weight also it is given, one by one it is given, yeah. That's fine. So that is how we can, so basically informations you need to extract and then you can think of that what could be the possible answer. Yeah. So this kind of questions you will get.
we have few more things left we'll continue after the break okay what did we we'll potassium? resume at 655 so what did we potassium here sorry so what did we potassium because so3 minus weight is 80 and potassium will be 40 into 2 so 80 Just one second, monovalent anion and X is any divalent anion in one is to one. It has water and M two X one into one ratio. Achha, water and M two X. No, so I think they mean water and salt is in one is to one because then it comes X as one is to one. What? It comes one twenty six, one twenty six. It comes exact one is to one ratio. Huh, so water is uh, uh, 18 into 7, no, the mass of this, because 7 is 2 we have. So it is 126 is coming out to be. And what should be M over here so that the weight of this would be 126, isn't it? This is the question, right? Yes. Water yes. and this salt ka mass ratio is 1 is to 1, is it? So water ka mass is 126. What should be M and X over here so that the mass is 126? So you can check if you talk about potassium, what is the mass of potassium here? 39. 39. 39 into 2, 78. And sulfide ion, Na2SO3. What is the mass of SO3? 30, 30 32 into 2, that is 64, 64 plus 16. 80. So it is coming out to be more, right? Yes, sir. sir. I thought they meant like M to X, like M is to X ratio. That's why I thought it will be potassium. No, it is clearly it is given. No, it has water and M to X. And then we have the bracket open till here. Water and salt in 1 is to 1 ratio by weight. So okay. water car weight and this car weight is 1 is to 1. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. So we'll take a break. 